listen up. Yesterday was a really good show. We pulled it together. Yeah. Yeah. We got through that Springer clip really good. Oh. Yeah. 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 Watch out for this Judge Mills Lane clip. Now, and I'm going to need you to come down through the center here and cover this joke. Yeah. 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 Brad, I'm going to need you guys to cover me in the back here, because if yeah. I get hit, yeah. 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 the show's yeah. ruined. You guys got to watch my back on that one. Okay, let's get up and let's have a great show, Brad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> Welcome back to Who Wants at Organ Transplant. I'm Regis Phil. Stan of North Hollywood called our hotline. Now he's in the hot seat, just 15 questions away from a healthy liver. Typo negative from a mountain biker who zigged when he should have zagged. What a night it's going to be. How you feeling, Stan? Uh. A little dizzy. I bet you do. I bet you do. Now, remember, Stan, the more questions you get right, the more of a chance you have to live. Okay, here's your first question of the round. Now, look. I like girl-on-girl -girl action as much as the next fella. But slavery is over. I didn't get shot in the head for nothing. Thank you, and God bless America. Now, before we move on to our next project, I just want to remind the folks at home to line the underside of the birdhouse with foil so you can pick up your orders from the mothership. Oh, now, not again. Now, for those of you that don't have the space for a birdhouse, you can still receive alien communication simply by wrapping your arm in foil and placing it high above your head. Hold still, Elaine. Alan, I'm not going to go through this <laughs> now, again. Hold it up, Elaine. Up high. Atta girl, we'll be receiving our orders in no time. <laughs> yes, Hal, that's a very helpful hint. Now let's go to commercial. Look, Elaine, I made us hats. Again, very simple. Foil, pipe cleaners, empty cereal boxes. Let's move on to self-preservation mode. As you all know, the apocalypse is coming, and you want to be prepared. So I'm going to show you how to build a fortress. Arms up, Elaine. A fortress out of popsicle sticks and pudding and peat moss. Who likes cream sickle? Can someone call Cause... Dr. Perkins? He's on my speed dial. <laughs> just one number. Elaine is not cooperating today. I just uh, like to how? say that. How? Remember how the doctor told us the difference between fantasy and reality? Elaine, would you please hold your arm up? I'm expecting a very important call. Hello? 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 Yes? I will do your bidding, oh master. Oh, hold on, I have another call. <laughs> Elaine? What did you do to Sigmund? He doesn't look at all well. So a bratwurst and a kielbasa walk into a bar. Ah! I'm not an animal. I'm a talk you post. Oh my god, you're a cross-dresser, you 10 cent bitch! Groovy. Happy birthday, Mr. B hey! Hey! Nice work today, man. Good work. What'd you think of the letter segment? I, Pretty good? I got scared. <laughs> oh, you were scared. I was scared. That's cute. <laughs> uh, how'd, you, how'd you like that stuff between you and me? It was huh? great! Was that pretty good? Yeah, it was great! Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out so well, I, I got an idea. Huh? So, buddy, picture you well, and me. I can't me. really accept any ideas right now. Well, I, it, well, you have to, this is all sorts of legal reasons. Do you have uh -huh. an agent? Yes. Okay, just type it up on little pieces of paper. Got those? Yeah. And then uh, just submit it through your agent. All right. Okay. Great. Yeah! Great. Woo! I'm going to be on TV! Yeah. It wasn't funny, they didn't laugh. I wasn't funny, fell on my ass. Can I go on in spite of the bomb? Yes, I can! Yes, I can! I'll tell a joke that's funny, but this position's sunny, cause yes, I can! Yes, I can! I'll tell the one about the nuns and why they ran! Woke up this morning with disco fever I'll never be the same You want the feeling
you very much. I'd like to bring us down a little bit if I could. When I was a young boy, I, I lived in a little small town where nobody who came around. And there was a girl who I loved who grew up and moved away. Oh my what was that? Oh my what the hell is he doing? You know it must be true when I lie down with you. I trade the money for the money and a split second, honey, and I know that you would too. I believe that this very day I can do it and I'll do it my way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's commitment like that that helped our guest land his next significant lead. Who among us could ever forget? Bill Edwards' stirring portrayal of a happily married man. Your co-star in this project is a talented performer in her own right who's always believable whether she's exchanging marriage vows or simulating orgasm. There's something... Hey! What the hell's going on? What are you doing to me? Who are you? Rudolph wants to play reindeer games. Is it safe? You... I told you! Stop pretending you're a dentist! I asked you, is it safe? Wow! Oh, look out, a lady! Oh! Lagan! Oh, look at, wow! So I uh, just got a new merit badge in tying rope. Not! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mommy. Uh, so you guys ever been camping? It's intense! <laughs> it's intense. <laughs> it's just intense. Uh, so after uh, lunch last week, I, uh, uh, at camp, I ate a brownie. Young man. Sorry, Mom. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the big old party here at the USO to benefit the war bond effort. I think we're going to have a couple of winners tonight. There's a couple of ladies in the front row who are looking for a number like... Oh, Good night, ladies and gentlemen, and God bless our boys overseas. <laughs>